digital security is actually securing data. Everything we do these days is fundamentally about internet access, phone access, everything is data, and what we should be concerned about is that data flying around the world, and is it protected? So maybe let me explain what that means to businesses, small and large around the world. It means threat, it means risk. The difference we have is we're aware of what takes place in the physical world. Bad people can do bad things in the physical environment. They can steal from us, they can rob us, they can do horrible things. The virtual world, the risks are exactly the same. We should be concerned about theft, theft of money, theft of IP, reputational risk. So perhaps I'll give you an idea of some data breaches and the consequences. What happens is a data breach is essentially data has been breached. An attack has taken place. Data can be taken out of the company. Why would I be concerned? What could that data be? Data could be money. It could be intellectual property. It could be details of the employees. That exposes the company to great risk. These breaches of security can occur without organisations being aware of it. It's very typical to find that breaches have occurred been taking place for maybe up to nine months. What can happen when a breach takes place? Data can flow out of that organisation. Credit card details can flow out of that organisation. I may, as an organisation, have invested huge amounts of money and time on in investing in design, intellectual property, and now it's all gone. What's the value to my company? Potentially immense. So the type of security breaches that we're seeing more and more of uh, recently are things like phishing attacks. You may have seen some press about it. Essentially, an email comes in from someone I trust, someone I believe to be a certain person. And it normally is an inv invitation to click. Now, the bad guys have got lots of time on their hands. They craft these things. There's a science to it. They're trying to make this thing appealing to you. They'll go and look at Facebook. They'll check you out as an individual. They'll work out what your interests and likes are and just try and make this e email interesting to you. You'll be invited to click on something. It may be to get a refund of cash. It may be a photo of something that interests you. You're tempted to click. Younger age groups tend to click on that thing. Older age groups, a little bit more risk adverse. When you click on it, generally nothing bad certainly appears to happen. But actually, as soon as you've clicked on that, malicious code has been uh, installed on your company's network. So let's look at the balance now between uh, the need to work and be efficient in the work we do and actually compared with security risk. Because there's a conundrum there. They're diametrically opposed. Some of the challenges the report points to is actually people feel inhibited by security. If we're not careful, security stops them doing their job. What do we think they do? When they can't do their job, they find a way around security to do their job. That's their prime concern. So there's a balance between security and enabling people to do their job. Our call out will be talking to organisations and when they're thinking about security policy, don't just think about it as being company centric, think about it from a user perspective. When we're thinking about security policy, will this enable people to be efficient and able to do their jobs? If it is, it stands a good chance of working. If it isn't, people will find a way around. So my advice to businesses when thinking about how to protect themselves in this world is we need to move on from what we've done before. What we've done so far is just deploy technology and leave technology to clear up the mess. It doesn't work on its own anymore. We need to use technology, but what we need to think about is establishing business process. We need to think about working where, where our assets are, where our assets are stored. What clouds are we connected to? Is our data, is our intellectual property stored with an area we can control? If it's not, Find a way to control it if it matters to you. If it's going to take your business down or give you financial harm, control it. Other areas of assets and risk you might just accept. So you need to work on from understanding where your assets are to a balanced risk. When you've got a balanced risk, you can get an appropriate policy around that. When you've got a policy, you can communicate it. But essentially run it as a process. So it's a feedback loop. We're continually monitoring this because the bad guys are always coming up with different threats. So real big call out. Think about business process. Establish it communicate it and make sure it's adhered to.